Fall evacuations have been going on right now. We've talked about the ones going on in Hayes County, families in Pflugerville. You are being evacuated after these overnight floodings. Our Kate Whitehall is live with the details there. And Kate, how did they get the families out? Okay, Good morning. Well, about 31 people were evacuated from the Crooked Creek area. And you can see behind me, that is Crooked Creek right there. And overnight, it really has gone up and down and up and down, depending on the rain. In fact, the fire chief out here in Pflugerville told us that basically they really don't have problems out here with this creek in the past. It's one to flood over this low water crossing area. And in the distance, you can actually see they have put up barricades to make sure folks do not drive down this way. But in the past, they say this has not been too much of an issue. However, tonight it certainly was. And they brought in the boats and ended up taking out about 31 residents who live in trailers that run alongside this creek. A couple folks did mention that their trailers did get flooded overnight. They were all taken to the Northwest Fellowship Church by a Capital Metro bus overnight. But the Flickerville Fire Chief told us really that this creek changes depending on how fast the rain's coming down. Fortunately, the, this creek and others like it, they rise very quickly and they go down very quickly. So uh, if we can get out from under the, the torrential rainfall, the waters will recede quickly. Well, a lot of folks have been coming out here overnight, you can see, checking out to see how high the water has come up, just to make sure it's not going to creep too much closer to their home. Not many people slept out here overnight, that is safe to say. Uh, and the Pflugerville Fire Department tells us that they have been assisted all night long by the Austin Fire Department, and it was just one water rescue after next all throughout the night. Now, they have left this area, moved on to other spots, since they feel like they have been able to get the residents out of this area, or at least alert them to the fact that they needed to leave. They said some folks said they didn't want to, but then ended up changing their minds at the last minute, deciding they needed to get out. But right behind me again, this is Crooked Creek in Pflugerville. About 31 residents who live in trailer parks along this area were evacuated overnight. And of course, guys, we'll be here throughout the morning to keep you posted on what happens. We know you will. Kate, thank you for that. Please be careful out there. More evacuations to tell you about, and they keep on rolling in, it seems like, throughout the morning. The evacuations that we're talking about now are in Hutto, all because of the massive ra rainfall we've been getting. Following along that same line, our Natalie Stoll is in that area with the details this morning. Natalie? That's right. Thanks, uh, Sally and Brian. This morning uh, here in Hutto, we're at the City Hall, by the way. Uh, these crews that you see behind me have been working throughout the night. They're keeping a very close eye on the rising waters as well as making sure that their residents are safe tonight. They've evacuated multiple neighborhoods, including those around the Brushy Creek area. Earlier, we were out at CR 123. That's right off Highway 79. Uh, the, that neighborhood there uh, was asked to evacuate anybody in that region. Uh, asked to go to the Hutto Middle School. We stopped by there too and no one had showed up yet but they were preparing to see crews or see people come by uh, this morning. It is an area that's open to anybody in the Hutto region that is experiencing flooding and needs to get out of their home. These Hutto uh, evacuee, or, uh, this Hutto officials have told us that uh, they sent out a reverse 911 call when the water started to rise. It went out to about 88 homes with instructions to evacuate. Uh, mainly, we're talking about uh, the residents north of Brushy Creek and the residents just south of Brushy Creek. Originally, those were sent to Pflugerville uh, High School, but then now rerouted to the middle school uh, with that shelter in place there. Uh, also, a word for anybody who has a pet. They are accepting kennel pets at the Hutto Fire and Rescue Station there on Exchange uh, Boulevard. 